Hey guys, Ben here from Cinderblock Studios. I'm back today with another quick tip for all you painters out there. So recently I was watching some various YouTube art videos and I came across a term that I actually never really heard before and that was optical mixing. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, optical mixing versus mixing regular colors uh, simply means that you're doing something that looks like you're mixing colors, but maybe isn't actually mixing colors. It may not make, may not make sense, so let me kind of show you what I'm talking about here. So I have on this piece of watercolor paper painted just a little swatch of some, uh, uh, what is this, cobalt blue, uh, and just to kind of give myself a little bit of a base. Now on top of that, I'm going to add a glaze of some uh, cad yellow. I know I took a regular cad yellow medium, which I have in my palette, added some uh, regular gel matte to it to get myself uh, a, a yellow that's actually kind of transparent. I'm going to grab some of that and just pour that and just put that right on top. Just get a little more yellow, I think. Now, in optical mixing, what happens is the, co the center color here, which actually isn't doing it quite as well as I would have hoped, uh, creates uh, sort of a faux green. So you're not actually making green by mixing blue and yellow, but you're layering blue and yellow, and your eye perceives it to be uh, a little bit green. So that's that's the, the, sort of the core of optical mixing. Now, I've always understood this as just being saying glazing layers, and that's sort of part of it. But you can use you can mix paint and then glaze with it. This particular technique forces you to maybe not mix your colors first and then just mix them through those transparent layers. Uh, I think this is a really cool idea. I definitely want to try and do a painting where I just use my primaries and try to mix my secondaries through optical glazing. I think it could be a really valuable technique, and that's kind of why I wanted to share that with you guys this week. Other than that, unfortunately, I don't have. Uh, any other tips for you this week? Things have been busy. Um, I just got back from watching Avengers Endgame. It was really fun. But I'm uh, behind, as always. Uh, so if you enjoyed this, uh, learned something, go ahead and hit that like button. Consider supporting on Patreon. Uh, follow my art on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt. Uh, check out new stuff on my website coming up all the time. And this has been from Cineblock Studios, and I will see you guys next time.